Red or blue will make you spew is a saying I've heard in relation to these belete type mushrooms and in the case of this one it's true. This mushroom looks big and juicy, smells okay and on initial examination can look edible but it'll ruin your dinner and could make you sick too. Meet the rooting belete, the one that looks good but bites back. It's quite common from July, August right through to early autumn and it grows under broadleaf trees, especially oak and beech. I found these under oak. The cap can be an off-white to pale grey or pale brown colour, darkening with age. It starts off smooth, but when it matures, it can start cracking on the surface of the cap. The pores are tightly knit and bright yellow when they're young, but like the cap, they do discolour with age. And with age, they also become a bit less tightly knit. In all cases, though, the pores will bruise blue almost immediately when pressed. The stem is thick and chunky, often tapering into a rooting base, hence the name, rooting belete. The top of the stem is normally lemon yellow, sometimes showing a faint net-like pattern, but that can be hard to see. Nearer the bottom, it can look more red or brown. The internal flesh is off-white or yellow, depending on which part of the mushroom you cut open, but it will discolour blue very quickly when exposed to air. It starts happening immediately and then gets deeper over the following seconds. The only slight exception to this is that when the rooting belete is quite mature and old, you might find that this bluing reaction is much less, and so the flesh might barely change colour, but you should still see some blue discoloration in the flesh. Don't taste this mushroom, but trust me, it's bitter as hell and is definitely one to avoid. It's not thought to be toxic in the strict sense of the word, but its bitterness is so severe that it is, in my view, toxic. Because this bitterness has in some people been reported to cause symptoms like nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps and diarrhoea. 